Well, a man convicted of killing a Charlotte protester in 2016, once again set to serve upward of three decades in prison. The North Carolina Supreme Court ruling Thursday that Raekwon Borum will serve his full sentence in the killing of Justin Carr. As Wake Up Charlotte's Richard Devane reports, it comes after a years long resentencing battle. It's hard, but God gives me strength. He does. He does. The more I ask, the more he gives. That was Vivian Carr when I spoke to her after Raekwon Borum was convicted of second degree murder for the shooting death of her son, Justin Carr. Justin was protesting after the police involved shooting death of Keith Lamont Scott back in 2016. After his trial, the jury sentenced Raekwon Borum to 24 to 30 years in prison. The last few months, Carr and her family has had to deal with the possibility that Borum might walk out of prison sooner because of a North Carolina appeals court ruling that says Borum's murder conviction was incorrect because the jury's verdict was ambiguous. However, the, the Supreme Court of North Carolina has disagreed with that decision, overturning it, saying that the jury's decision was not ambiguous and that jurors understood their assignment and ruled accordingly. Borm will now remain in prison until 2045. In Charlotte, Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.